Hi there, this is Vivi Cameron here. Welcome to a new video that is all about adding texture and shimmer to your projects using the latest supplies by Wow Embossing Powder. I made a box and some cards and I also use butterfly dyes to make embellishments for these projects using the new colors of embossing powders and also new stamps and stencils released by Wow. So today I'm also joining a hop here in YouTube and also on Instagram and there are some giveaways. For your chance to win, all you have to do is to leave a comment in this video and also in my Instagram post with these projects. And for extra chances to win, all you have to do is to leave comments like crazy all across the hop on YouTube and also on Instagram. In the video description just below this video, you will find a link to the next person in the hub, also to the Instagram hub and to my blog where you will be able to find all the information, links and supply list. So let's start for showing you the new embossing powders. So there is two new trios. This one here is called English Garden and this one here is called Fair Ground. You will be able to see the colors of these embossing powders across this video and also in the pictures in my blog. WOW is also releasing clear stamps. I have here thank you and birthday sentiments and they are also offering background stamps. One is the outline of the image and the other one is the bold image. This will allow you to stamp the bold image with ink, for example, and the outline with embossing powder. That will be very nice. They are also releasing stencils. So they have this confetti circle and also confetti heart. What is cool about these products is that they have been designed to have fun using embossing powders. So I'm going to start by using this stencil here. I'm going to use a piece of low tack tape to secure the stencil to the cardstock and I'm going to apply this gel that is tacky when dry through the stencil just like that and I'm going to allow this to dry completely this will be dry in 5-10 minutes but I prefer to allow this to dry for one hour or so so once I finish applying this medium I'm going to carefully remove the stencil and then you will see that this is looking white. We are going to wait for this to look completely clear. And then we are going to apply embossing powders. You can apply one color of embossing powder or multiple colors. I'm using here the embossing powders from Fairground Trio. So you can see the different colors in this set. And pay attention the way I'm adding the powder. So I'm trying to tap the excess of powder towards a side or facing the paper down so that I only get that color in certain area, just like that. You can also use clear embossing ink through the stencil to do this as I did in a previous video. And I'm going to link to that video in the video description as well because I have other videos and other posts using also WOW embossing powders and I want to make a playlist with techniques for you. I like this gel because it really grabs the embossing powder and it gives a little bit of dimension. So all I have to do here is to heat this up and that's it. So this will create a super simple panel for a card and you can make it in different colors. I really like this color combination of blue and green. So these are the colors of the projects you will find on my social network and that are going to allow you to identify the YouTube hub and also the Instagram hub. Now I'm going to show you how I made the butterflies. Just in case you were wondering, this is super duper easy. All you need to do is to add a piece of double sided adhesive sheet to your cardstock and die cut it using your favorite butterfly dies. Once I die cut this and I remove that backing paper from the adhesive sheet, I'm going to expose the adhesive and I can stick to this the embossing powder. I really love the look and feel of the die cuts when you add embossing powder. There is no mystery, I'm only covering that die cut using the embossing powder and then I heat set up this 
and this looks like a very soft glitter paper. To complete this embellishment and also to give you extra ideas using embossing powders, I'm going to die cut this butterfly out of acetate. I'm using a metal chim to easily die cut this material because you know that the acetate is plastic and is thick and it's not as easy to die cut if you don't have a metal chim. So once I have done that, I get this beautiful butterfly out of acetate that I can use in my cards as well or my projects or scrapbook or anything else and I'm using this gel medium again and this time I'm not going to allow this to dry but to be honest for better results allow this to dry and then I'm going to heat set up this just to have that glitter at the edges of the wings and I'm using the heat tool in the second setting so it's the coolest setting just to dry this up and that's how this looks this is not acetate designed to do heat setting it's just regular acetate so i don't want to overheat it and shrink it or do something crazy with that acetate i also added that embossing powder to the butterfly body and i just glued this over the panel i just made and as simple as that we can make a card in time record. Okay, I'm also using some of these powders from English Garden Trio and I'm randomly applying this over that butterfly that has a double-sided adhesive sheet over. I'm going to heat set up this and now I'm going to sprinkle some of this gold ultra high embossing powder. To do that I'm going to add some of these Versa fine ink so that the powder is going to stick over the butterfly and then I heat set up this and this is a very chunky and thick embossing powder that adds a beautiful texture to anything you put that powder on and then I'm going to add another acetate butterfly over this and I'm going to finish this butterfly also with a butterfly body that I also heat set using that ultra high gold embossing powder. I'm going to make a smaller butterflies so you can see here that I'm removing the protective sheet from that adhesive and I'm exposing that adhesive to be able to add that embossing powder. Initially this embossing powder looks translucent but once you heat it up it looks more opaque. And then again, I'm going to use VersaFine Clear Ink over these die cuts, just like that. And I'm going to apply Gold Ultra High Embossing Powder. Remember again that this is a very chunky embossing powder and it's just beautiful to add texture to your projects. And because it's so chunky, it's not great for stamped sentiments. For stamped sentiments, you need to use ultra fine embossing powder the completely opposite to this chunky powder now let me show you once again the texture you achieve with this kind of embossing powder and please be aware that the video camera it doesn't take the colors quite right you can see the colors a lot better in the pictures on my blog okay i also die cut a butterfly out of balloon to add a backing butterfly behind that small butterfly. I'm going to dip this on the ultra high embossing powder and I'm going to heat set up this body of the butterfly as well. And you will see that this powder creates texture like no other. I love it and this is also an idea to mix and match different paper qualities on your projects also when using embossing powders okay now i'm going to stamp a panel that measures four inches by four inches i'm using the misty stamping tool to help me to stamp this panel i'm going to add anti-static powder over this panel and using versa mark ink that is clear i'm going to stamp this bold image on that panel just like that and because this stamp is new, the cardstock got completely stuck to the stamp. 
So I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to rub the cardstock at the back like so to transfer the ink to the panel. The good thing about the stamping platform is that if for any reason I don't get a completely nice stamped image, I can stamp over the same spot to get a very nice crisp image. I got a nice image in the first try, so I'm going to apply two different colors of embossing powder. I'm using fresh stem from English Garden Trio. And this color here is called Carnival from the Fairground Trio. I heat set up this. I trim the panel to measure three inches, three quarters, and I make a topper for a box. I make these boxes very often using a scoring tool. In my blog, you can find instructions on how to make this box. And that's all for today. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration. Check the links in the video description and share this video. And I'm sorry I didn't say it in all the video, my voice is a little bit funny today, although it's always funny because of my accent, but I'm having a terrible allergy. I just wanted to let you know that. So that's all. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.